Hello and welcome to a weapons guide to the M249 saw. Its specifications are its power is moderate, its fire rate is very high, its recoil is moderate, its noise is high, its rarity is very rare, its zeroing is none, its effective range is 300 meters, and its damage is 3555 blood. Now with this weapon it takes two types of ammunition, it takes the stand mag and it also takes the M249 belt. Uh, the M942 belt is pretty much the only thing you want to use on it. The stand mags, you know, it, it's useful but you'll be chewing through like the ammo and having a 200 round mag is what's best for this weapon. But if you don't have any of this ammo because it is kind of rare, although you can find it pretty much anywhere, it has a random chance of dropping in um, warehouses and stuff like that. So. It's, it's possible that you can come across it relatively easy in low level areas, but still it's pretty rare around there. So if you don't have any of those things, use stand mags, they'll still do more or less the same, but you just won't have that much ammo. And that's the whole reason why this weapon is awesome, is purely because it has uh, 200 rounds, which means if it comes in those situations where you're being overwhelmed by a zombie horde, then you can just you can do the, spay, the pray and spray, and you can pretty much get forgiven for doing that. Um, so, when it comes to killing players, it's three to four shots to kill a player, and um, these three shots will kill them because they'll probably bleed out before they can heal, but there's a slight chance, so you want to get the fourth shot in there. And when it comes to shooting and killing players at a long distance, you also want to use the three to four shot bursts. Um, I'll show you how effective it is with this guy who's got too close, I might get a bit of aggro from doing this. Yeah. Huh, no, I agree. So even though it is a very loud weapon, it isn't anywhere near as bad as the uh, Anfield or other sniper rifles. So you can still get a little leeway. I wouldn't recommend using it very often in a city or a crowded town, because you'll probably get a lot of zombie aggro, even though it isn't as bad as the um, Anfield and sniper weapons. Those things you just can't use. But its range is pretty effective. Um, that was close range, this is still a close range, but I just want to get this zombie away. Alright, where... He's pretty close, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Um, if you have it on burst mode like I do, like, just even one click sometimes can send off an extra bullet. So be wary of that if you're trying to conserve ammo. Um, but still, even at, like, a fairly different like distance range you can still get some pretty decent shots. Yeah, I got him in the shoulder. There we go. Let's try again. So I think that's about 100 meters. So 300 meters you could probably get someone uh, probably about that tree line about there. It's about 300 meters. So it'd be a bit hard to get him but given the, as long as you're not spraying, if you're spraying you're pretty much doing nothing, you're just wasting ammo, so at that range you want to be just being a little bit cautious, and like maybe, you, you, if they're, like the further away they are, you probably want to limit it to like one shot or two shots, rather than the three to four, like I'd say between the 100 meters is where you'd use the three to four, three to five shot bursts, um, so just get rid of him. And here, we're demonstrating this guy. Hit him, but didn't hit him in the head. There we go, now I got him in the head. There we go. So yeah, it takes a bit to get used to with this weapon. Um, the fact that it doesn't really have that great of a scope, like there's no real zoom with it, so that kind of sucks, but it, the weapon, when it comes to taking out uh, or doing ambushes or anything like that, it's a beautiful weapon. It's a perfect weapon for stuff like that. Even taking out cars, uh, in that situation, you just aim at the car, or aim properly, and just spray as it goes across, and you have a pretty high chance of killing the driver or disabling the vehicle, and you'll only need to do probably minor repairs to the wheels or engine to get it back up and running. So that's another perk of using this weapon. Um, so all in all, this weapon, um, from what I've been using of it, is great. You can kill players with it pretty easy. You can kill zombies, like, so easy with this weapon. It's If you find yourself 
just getting overwhelmed with zombies in this game, then this is definitely a weapon for you. Um, the only downside is, like I said, its range isn't the best, and hitting targets at a distance can be relatively hard. So I hope this has been helpful. If it has, be sure to thumbs up and stay tuned for more.